Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News, and we have our second of three Victoria stories to get to. Victoria shares behind-the-scenes Rome photos. That's right, Victoria posted a TikTok. We are calling those VicTalks, where she shows the love of her and new beau, Greg Grippo, as they've emerged from their romantic getaway that was supposed to be private between the two of them, which became a national spectacle. And by national spectacle, I mean our niche community found it interesting because it is a niche community in the grand scheme of things. But either way, we're going to get into what she shared, her TikTok. It's cute. It's adorable. We like it. That's totally fine. We can enjoy someone's TikTok and um, we can enjoy their relationship and wish them well and and uh, a bachelor or whatever says, okay, I'll admit it. Y'all are cute. Yeah, of course they're cute. They're both super good looking. They're charming. They're fu- he's funny. They're the way they they have. A, he's got like a quiet confidence, and I think she enjoys like the. I don't know. I don't know, guys. We're waxing poetic here. We just made this story, and I had to make two separate videos. You gotta, you guys gotta give me credit. I tried to make it into one video, but I was like, how do I tie in Pilot Pete to Victoria Fuller hanging out with their new boyfriends and girls? girlfriends Greg Grippo and Kelly Flanagan the only thing that would have made this story more interesting is if Kelly Flanagan used to date Greg Grippo's older brother or something which I don't know I mean you know whatever but by the way yeah I have to say there though in this photo uh Kelly Flanagan's hair looks amazing what what a great sheen she has there so either way we just covered that story and now that deserved its own you know uh full video because it's completely different from this story which was a public sort of um spectacle as Greg Grippo and Victoria Fuller were spotted in the Trevi Fountain in Rome. This, of course, was reported by Reality Steve on October 25th, 2022. So all we've seen so far from their experience, and of course we have to remember at this time uh, Victoria Fuller was still properly dating uh, on TV uh, Johnny DiFilippo. Her relationship with Johnny had just ended. That had been the sort of question everyone asked is like what's the timeline that that, that's like the political when and you know in politics when people are like trump show us your tax returns uh and of course we found out the irs never audited him as a sitting president so our own government let us down surprise shocking uh (laughs) we don't pay enough in taxes i guess i'm kidding uh irs do a better job uh but either way uh, my point being that uh asking for johnny and victoria's timeline is like saying show me hillary's emails (laughs) oh yeah one of those sort of of political triggers that we have um i love throwing out political things because new audience members go wait what side is he on are we on the same side listen idiots we're all americans we're all on the same side we want to get rid of big banks we want to get rid of uh you know wasted spending and we want to take care of the american public if i had the national anthem button i'd press it but i don't okay i got my mobile footage okay so anyway we're not trying to milk the clock here let's show you the victoria um TikTok. Again, I don't know if I might have to talk on top of the music. I don't know if this is copywritten. Let's see. Uh, But she says, point of view, you fall in love in Italy. Let's have a watch. I like it. So there they are getting their chow tattoos. Bring her out. Now, of course, we have Greg here in his camouflage, which, by the way, no offense, Greg, you look like Greg Rippo here. You know, the hat and the sunglasses just make you look like a great grippo that's wearing a hat and sunglasses. Oh, no. So there they are, um, you know, overlooking a beautiful beach. A nice kiss with a couple little islands in the background. Beautiful. Well, we gotta, uh, we'll, go, we'll, we'll watch it like Okay, so we're going to have a problem with this music. They're smoking a cigarette, uh, uh, you know, uh, in the back of a top-down car. Chugging beers. Under a bedroom door. The the music really makes it. You're gonna have to go watch this for yourself. Okay, so here they are in public. I can't believe more people didn't spot them. Oh, but it was Italy. It wasn't in the U.S. Yeah, but it was in Rome. Okay, like I've said before, they weren't in like Sri Lanka on a safari tour in the middle of nowhere. Uh, so there they are kissing. And of course, this is very similar to where they were spotted. So this must be in the same area. Uh, of course, I'm not saying they were asking for it, but of course they're. All they had to do, guys. All they had to do was put on some per, some PPP, uh, uh, PPE, excuse me, put on, put on a mask or, oh, sorry, I've been exposed. And, you know, and then, and then, you know, of course that, that might be a little uncomfortable, but that would have kept their, their secret a secret. Now, 
the truth would have come out eventually. It just wouldn't have been as white hot. People would have been like, wait, when, when did you go to Rome? Like that would have happened, but it wouldn't have happened in the way where they were kind of found out versus just going on their own, uh, you know, first. <laughs> you bring heaven down to right, me. Drink it, let me through my blood I breathe. It's too loud. All right, they get McDonald's here. This is the most American thing ever. McDonald's in Rome. Okay. I mean, Rome's pretty corporate, so I guess McDonald's goes there. Oh, the 16th chapel. They found the 16th chapel. Like I've said before, nothing in comparison to the 20th chapel, but the 16th, not too bad. It was okay. Um, there he is reading a book. He's reading how, how, He's reading a book, How to Do Damage Control <laughs> in Bachelor Nation. So there they are with a couple more Peronis or whatever. And that looks like a green screen. It's so nice. So lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, they, there they are at the Coliseum. And of course, as we know in the interview, Greg said, he said the funniest line ever. I don't remember the exact words, but he goes, Victoria, you, you, she wanted to go to the Coliseum. You had to do it. We were, we were perfectly fine. No one had caught us. And then Victoria was like, let's go to that Coliseum thing people are talking about there shouldn't be anyone over there at the Coliseum you know the most famous sports structure ever erected um and glad uh, there he is with his wig on yeah he did look like Nick Vile I hear Jesus makes sin All right. white as linen like the sheets that we're and they're getting oh, the tattoo smile thank you Cute. Bye -bye. ciao so that's oh, it yeah, We'll let it play again here, and we'll just try to catch anything we didn't miss in the first time. But the comments, Andrew Spencer says, guards, bring her out, has me weak. I love this. So there they are. Yeah, let's zoom in on this. They get a nice little, like, just uh, in, in, in a beautiful, I mean, look, how do you not fall in love in Italy when this happens? It's almost like not even their fault. So, of course, they're uh, kind of like, the, he takes the hat off, he's hunched over, gets down to her level, a little like Marilyn Monroe, wind blows up the old skirt there. That's the moment, folks. That's when it all happened. Am I a creep for watching this? I don't think so. They posted it. We're just addressing it. Um, read some of the comments here. Greg Grippo said, McDonald's in Europe with you any day. And just the most Jersey thing ever. What you do in Europe? We saw the 16th Chapel, and then we saw the 17th McDonald's. I'm loving it. Justin Glaze says, are you kidding me? Natasha, ciao, Bella. Kelsey, love everything about this. Kate Gallifan, I endorse everything about this. No one asked you, Kate. She probably got some hate following that. Oh, there, there she is. Um, basically, okay, the, the, the bitch Lorette says, I'm crying, ciao. So lots of love there. And this was my reaction to watching it. Oh, shoot. And of course, we'll have a Justin video coming up next because Justin is now mourning the loss of his friendship with Craig Grippo. Of course, that's kind of in jest. When someone falls in love, <laughs> when mommy and daddy love each other, they get very close. You know, trying to explain the birds and the bees. When somebody falls in love, his buddies no longer hear from him anymore. So shout out, blink twice if you miss me, to all of my bros out there who haven't you know been in my, the group chat with me so we're going to get into this separate story but you know what here how about this i found this i thought maybe for a palate cleanser we could go from one quote-unquote problematic couple that being greg rippo and victoria fuller to another formerly problematic couple that being matt james and rachel kirk connell did i ever think they were problematic no not at all but of course you know like uh this is, uh, you know, th it took them a little while to win over their audience because of the, you know, yeah, the, the edit of their season, how, how they came off at the after the final hours, which I don't blame them. What, 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 you know, what? I don't blame them at all. But anyway, let's play a few reels. This is them. Uh, how to make the ultimate s'more? This is how you make the ultimate s'more. This recipe calls for two graham crackers, one, two, cookies and cream, chocolate bar. How cute is she? Da -da 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 not poison. Just kidding, it's okay. Cut your three bars in half. All right. Place on the graham crackers. Come on, tell us something chocolate we don't know. Chocolate bar by chocolate bar, you're going to hold it over the fire <laughs> so that it's warm and not cold for the graham cracker. Look, first of all, I support this. Warm up the chocolate bar. There's nothing worse than having a melted s'more that doesn't completely translate to a melted chocolate bar. You know what I mean? They're already in the cold. So melting up the chocolate bar really takes the s'more game to the next level. No one likes cold, hard chocolate. I agree. Nobody likes cold chocolate. Oh, my God. Oh. 
I'd like to pay my respects. Is he going to eat that? Oh, you should have had it. You know, charcoal, it's good for your teeth. You want to make sure you have a whole box of them so that if you burn your hand. By the way, so this this is called a couple that loves each other. That's what this is. If you didn't think that Matt and Rachel were meant for each other, look at her cracking up. They they really do complement each other well. Crunch. If your marshmallow sounds like you're eating a Dorito, it's cooked to perfection. That's a marshmallow brulee. Remove the stick. <laughs> Enjoy the perfect score. Hey, look, no lies here. He said it made me look like a He made a normal one. She goes, he made a normal one. All right, Rachel says, ultimate s'more equals normal s'more. Yeah, he did a good s'more. He did a s'more brulee. Good for him. Let's see if there's any other Matt James. I mean, look, the guy just the guy just makes constantly great work. He's training at 8,100 feet altitude. Oh, my gosh, look at him go. I can't believe he's been training for marathons. He's so tall. It's not necessarily a marathon body. I mean, honestly, Matt James, I mean, just looking at him has more of like a a 800 meter body any of my track and field people want to let me know i mean like he's a tall lanky guy but running long distance is just tough on a on a bigger frame i mean he's a big guy anyway let's see we have one more two more reels here let's get to these here they are i, I attempted to eat 100 cookies at beaver creek. what makes beaver creek different than any other mountain cookie number one in the books so look here's here's how it works in the influencer world they get to stay at a beautiful place that's probably 900 dollars a night and he has to make one uh one or two reels promoting beaver creek that my friends is a good deal if you're if you ask me three o'clock every day at the base of the mountain they pass out free chocolate chip cookies today i'm gonna see how many free chocolate chip cookies i can get <laughs> Thank you. Now, look, he's a young buck, and he can eat chocolate and, and, and chocolate chip cookies, but I'm telling you, I'm 37, guys. I don't have it in me anymore. I was going to wait till January to quit sugar, but I'm literally at my low, guys. I, I'm not kidding. I, I'm, I'm starting to learn more about beta cells and insulin and, like, I don't know. Maybe some people can handle it. I can't. And if, if this is triggering to you guys, I get it. It's triggering to me. I, I, I sugar addiction is so unfair. It'd be like it'd be like being addicted to. Um, well, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to uh, mention any other addictions because you know they're all bad. And they can any addiction can be bad in any way. If you're porn addiction, cocaine, whatever it is, if you're doing too much of anything, it's not great. But for me, it's like you give me in my in my in my in laws. They're making pancakes right now. God bless them. I can't eat a pancake. If I eat a pancake, my day is done. I'm I'm done. You know what I mean? There's no like, oh, have a, just have a pancake. No, I'm not having a pancake. I'm going to eat 30 pancakes and then go sneak in the, you know, the chocolates. And then at dinner time, everyone's going to be like, who ate all the Godiva chocolates? I'm going to go, sorry, I did. Why? Because I watched a s'more video that Matt James posted. I'll take another one. Oh, I'll take two cookies. I'll never turn down a cookie. Okay. We're about six cookies in right now. It's looking very promising. It's very early. Trying to go for 30 today. I just spotted another chocolate chip cookie plate. Come on. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, uh, All right, so that's it. <laughs> That's the that's where we're gonna end it for you, Matt James, with the uh, one of the one of the better uh, social media games out there. He's uh, he's likable, and his relationship with Rachel it just makes you smile. All right, and um, hey, look, that's the behind the scenes of Victoria in Rome with Greg Grippo. As we've always said, all roses lead to Rome, and this uh, relationship doesn't seem to be slowing down. Good for them. We're happy. Maybe a proposal will happen soon. Life happens fast in the Bachelor in Paradise lane. All right, folks, more content coming your way right after this.